So here's the next uh, piece of equipment in my JB Weld uh, engine series. I've uh, JB welded up a uh, connecting rod journal on this uh, Briggs and Stratton crankshaft here. So basically I ground the crankshaft down about a quarter inch then uh, built it up with JB Weld. So I'll try running it in an engine and uh, see how it works out. So here goes the JB Weld uh, Conrod Journal. never have a blade on them. Don't try that with a blade on it or you'll lose your fingers. Kind of sounds like a little rod knock there. Anyway, I guess that's long enough to prove that it will indeed run. I'll tear her down for the next part of the video. So here's the JB Weld connecting rod journal after that uh, run there. I'll show you the connecting rod cap. It's a little shiny on both sides there. You can see that. Try to get in focus here. And the other half of it looks the same. Now uh, the crankshaft here manipulate it so it stays in focus. It's tricky. Starting to see wear there, the wear lines. And then it looks like it broke out in a few little places where maybe it wasn't very thick. I did this uh, in one big casting and then uh, I had to uh, redo some of it so it's not necessarily a constant thickness. Go quarter inch thick total. I see some air pockets there. So it survived the run, but not without any wear. Anyways, looks like it could hold up to the pressure for a while. I may try it in a lawnmower run, just rerun it, put it back together. The problem I got is, as you can see, this is a this is a shorty crankshaft here, so I'd have to find a, a deck that would uh, work with uh, shorty there. Most of them are longer than that these days. Anyway, thanks for watching the video there, and 
Looks like the JB connecting rod uh, journal will hold up for a little while, but not uh, not forever. So, everybody have a good one.